Ladies and gentlemen, I have returned for the second and final video. Ladies and gentlemen, have you seen the very first video of the day? If not, smash that bell. And of course, you will get a notification from YouTube. And don't worry, I'll discuss my social media accounts after this part of the video is over. Now, sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, or grab some drink, or maybe, just maybe, you want to chill with everyone, and hear my thoughts, my opinions, on this subject, and of course, the link will be down below, or the article will be down below. Now, in this video, it'll be strictly a link, because it's an article, plus the video down below, if anyone wants to watch it. Okay, now, last time we saw Kurt Angle in the W Square Circle, when he lost to Baron Corbin at that WrestleMania. Now, I don't know if you guys know that he really wants to face John Cena, Kringle, but McMahon says it's not going to happen because McMahon wants Kringle to finish the storyline with Baron Corbin. John Cena and Kringle was going to happen the following year at the Mania, but Kringle wants to retire. Actually, it should happen that Mania, but there was a storyline between him and Baron and Corbin. McMahon says, if you want to have a match with John Cena, it will happen the following year, but it never happened. You know? So, I don't know if you guys know about that one. So, I didn't care for that match. I prefer John Cena versus Kringle, a lot more history, but there was no storyline between John Cena and Kringle if they did it that year, but whatever, you know? You gotta have a storyline for these matches. You just can have. These two great performers just duke it out. You can't, in my opinion, you know. So that's why they have Barry and Corbin versus Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle's last match. I did not care for the match. I did not care for the storyline. So what's your thoughts? Now, there's a rumors going around possibility that Kurt Angle might compete at this year's Royal Rumble. How is that possible? I thought he can't compete anymore because his conditions or he don't want to do it anymore i don't know maybe they're just all phony baloney on other websites i don't mind he's there at all but we all know that he just want to be there for a major pop and you know people will pop give him a huge pop he's a great performer i really wish he never took any pain pills he was addicted to that stuff um, if you've never seen that documentary it's on youtube or any other social media accounts now, do you think he had a major problem with a pills, you know, pain pills? Yes. He didn't know that until, like, later on in his life. I know that right away, you know. Now, I want to ask you a question. What was a better wrestling, for, for wrestling um, company for him? WF slash WWE, Impact Wrestling, or, you know, like... Other ones before he got to the pros. What was the best company for him? The best storylines. The best championship matches. You tell me. The best rivalries. You tell me. It has to be. No no doubt about it. WF slash W. And maybe the second one was TNA. With him and Samoa Joe. The, the titles. Great rivalries. Love that. And I think they tried to do that in. In W. When Samoa Joe. Make his debut in the main roster i think they tried to do that once not too sure of course it will never be as good as the original so all information down below and of course the video is down below now i think if he does show up he should be like in number 26 27 28 or maybe 29 or maybe early earlier numbers like maybe 15 16 but don't let him win it because he won it back in the day people will be pissed if he did win it at the rumble you know, I don't mind if he's there, but don't let him win it. You know what I'm saying? Let some other guys win it or other females. You know, I know this is not a female one. This is all about the males, you know, the men's. He's a great p competitor. You know, there's was, there was opportunities that he had a chance to go to AEW, but I guess it all comes down to money. So I can't picture him show up in AEW. I just can't picture it. You know, he belongs where well, he belongs in the. Uh, he been there since day one, you know, so I I can't picture it. You know, I just can't. M maybe you can, but can can I can't? Can you picture him ever signing with AEW for a short 
contract for a bunch of money. You know, it's all about the money. These wrestlers will never ever do anything for free. Never. Because they can support themselves or a family or whatever. It's all about the money, honey. You know? So I'm not being weird or whatever. I never met Kurt Angle. Have you ever met Kurt Angle? Is he a nice guy like he did on TV? Or is he a douchebag? Let me know down below. Anyone. I was just wondering. I'm just curious. Of course, he has some stupid segments, but you know what? The human. Um, Vince and Austin with the hats, but that was kind of goofy, but it all worked. It would never work in today's monitor or no way in hell for WWE. I could be wrong, I could be right. Let me know down below. And we'd like to see Karingo possibly show up at, at Rumble. If that's true, they shouldn't even say that. What happened to the sport? What happened to the surprising appearance at the Rumble? I guess they don't care. Maybe it might happen because maybe it might not happen because. If if it did happen, he's ruined the surprise. So let me know you down below now. Follow me on Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, click out all my social media accounts will be down below. If you want to be part of the Raw show, that's fine, Danny. Now, the Rumble. I'll go live in Living Color. The end of this month, the return for the men's and the re and debuts for the men's. Same thing for the women's debut and the return. Hopefully, it's gonna be a smashing good show. If not, oh well. See you guys tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your Friday. Take care and have a great weekend. Later.